Hey everybody, happy Easter. Um, got four beers on tap tonight. Got uh, it's Founders All Day IPA, uh, Sun King, it's uh, Cream Ale, Sunlight Cream Ale, good old Billy D. Williams Colt 45, and uh, Yingling Golden Pilsner. So, I have drank one of these before, but it's been a long time. I'm not going to tell you which one. Of course, I always drink this. Hope you all had a good Easter. Alright, we'll dive right into the IPA, because I normally don't like IPAs. So, give her a shot. Didn't stink. That's pretty fucking nasty. It's almost got kind of a. Definitely has a shitty aftertaste, that's for sure. Come on. Why? That's gross. I'm gonna give it about a 1.8. Ugh, that's nasty. But see, after you drink it, like that aftertaste just keeps start coming in, and then it gets stronger and stronger, and then it almost pisses you off. Because I mean, ugh, that's gross. I got that at Kroger. Uh, yeah, they had it luckily by the singles. Yeah, probably. I mean, I, I say I don't want to drink these. I don't think I'll drink this. I mean, if I do, I mean, I'll be gagging. Like, I'll come back to it. All right, we'll do the. Uh, We'll do the sun, the sunlight uh, cream ale by Sun King. The Wee Mac I did the other day, I liked it. No, no smell. See, that tasted so shitty. Like anything I drink after this is going to be. I mean, a vast improvement. That's actually pretty good. I mean, it's got pretty good flavor. I, it's not what I thought it would be. And it helps that cooler in there, or that refrigerator in there keeps shit, I mean, ice cold. I'm gonna give that a seven. It's pretty good. I like that. I, I, I mean, I do like that a lot. All right. Code 45. Malt liquor. Now, back in the day, the old Little Kings malt liquor, they don't make them anymore, but uh, I got sick on those many a times. But, and I don't remember, we used to drink them, I don't remember if I liked them or not, but, excuse me. <clears throat> Here we go. Not too bad. Oh, you gotta like my shirt. Said I'm holding a beer, so I'm kind of busy. 
Yeah, I'm busy or something like that. Yeah, I'm pretty. So yeah, I'm pretty busy. I don't even remember what the fuck it says. Uh, I do like that. I didn't, and I have drank this before. It's been a long time ago, but I I have a tendency to like malt liquor. So um, again. You guys aren't gonna believe this. See, it makes me think that I'm, everything tastes good because that thing tasted so fucking nasty. I think I like this better than this. It's close. I'm gonna give it a 7.2. That's right. Cold 45. See, I used to have Billy D. Williams picture on the side of that. I don't know if all of you know who that is, but you should. If you're my age, I know you do. All right. Yingling uh, Golden Pilsner. Um, I've never had this. I don't know anybody that's drank it, so. You know what? So I think I'm starting to get a whiff of that motherfucker. Like, I'm downwind. There's a ceiling fan above me. And I mean, that thing's like swirling around here. Like, I'm, it's starting to really irritate me. Like, that is, like, that is shitty, shitty beer. Like, that's nasty. Like, that's some nasty shit. Not happy. All right. All right, I got a whiff of something when I drink it. Okay, but it doesn't taste as bad as it smelled. That's like when someone farts and it's really loud, but it doesn't stink. It's kind of the same thing, only backwards. It kind of smelled, but it tastes good. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's okay. I mean, I'll, I'll probably piss people off. Like, you pick Colt 45 over Yingling? Yeah, I do. I'm telling you, I mean, I'm not gonna. It's just my taste. Maybe it's fucked up. See, now it's got a little bit of an aftertaste. It's not bad. I mean, I'd give it maybe a five. Yeah. Probably a five, five and a half. It's not bad. It's just I keep getting a smell and an aftertaste. Like I'm, I'm very smell sensitive. So if you stink, I'm gonna know it. I mean, I'm sure I have times that I might stink, but I would appreciate it if you told me. I mean, that's kind of a thing we do at work. You know, he's like, hey, dude, you got a, you got a booger hanging out of your nose. You might want to get that because you don't want to embarrass, you know, be embarrassed. You go talk to somebody and you got something flopping out of your nose. So, I mean, I just notice things. Unfortunately, like I focus on certain things. And, uh, yeah, and smell. I could drink it, but I probably wouldn't. And I've had Yingling before, but like I said, I mean, I think I liked it. But the problem is I taste a lot of beers after I've drank a lot. And so today I've only had like three beers. So I'm, I don't think my, my palate is too uh, um, numb due to the alcohol that I consume. So yeah, I'm gonna go to five folks. So the winner, Cold 45. And I hope you all have a nice uh, rest of your Easter evening. I don't know how appropriate it is for me to be uh, doing beer reviews on Easter, but hey, it is what it is. Oh.
I'm bored, so I may do more. I know I say that, that I don't, but I probably will because it's still kind of early. So, until next time. <laughs>